Hey, it's fantasy sports girl Andrea with the latest from the world of fantasy football. Week three's in the books and it's time to prep for week four. So let's take a quick look at the waiver wire to see who's hot and who's not. With Chad Pennington done for this season, Ricky Williams becomes a hot commodity. Williams had 84 yards and a touchdown against the Chargers and should see plenty of action as a runner and receiver against Buffalo. Miami's already committed to the ground, but they'll double down with Henny under center. And here are a few words I thought I'd never say. Vernon Davis fantasy stud. Just when he was getting fitted for an extra large bus label, Davis broke out with seven receptions, 96 yards, and two touchdowns in the loss to Minnesota. With Hill's questionable arm strength, Davis is on pace for more than 100 targets and is a strong play. Davis isn't the only Niner with fantasy heat, as Frank Gore's injury means more work for Glenn Coffey. Gore will miss the next two games, sending Coffey to the top of the depth chart and Ray's run-first offense. The rookie didn't shine in Minnesota, but things will be a lot easier against the Rams. If you'd prefer a deeper sleeper, check out Jerome Harrison. With 85 total yards, the fourth-year man was the one bright spot in Cleveland's beat down in Baltimore. Lewis is still banged up, so Harrison could steal you some points against Cincy this week. Speaking of Baltimore, Laron McLean has been stone cold. Last season's fantasy surprise has fallen far behind Rice and McGehee this year. In the first three games, he's averaging just four carries, which isn't enough to make him worthy of a roster spot. The fantasy girl's been down on Ted Ginn Jr. for a while, and now it's time to cut him loose. He has just one yard of rack this year and went without a reception on Sunday despite seven targets. Henny may help in the long run, but I'm not willing to wait. That's all I've got for now, but remember to check out more videos at fantasysportsgirl.com.